past. Saturday, the uh, January the 26th, about uh, 2 o'clock, uh, 10 to 2, Keith Glass, uh, going to meet with uh, Pastor Joe Wingo in the next uh, few minutes. Test. Test that thing. It looks like it's working. It looks like it is. You can, just, you can just sit in here, it won't take but a minute. How many hundred, how many hundred questions she done asked you? How I many you think? Uh, uh, Jeff Reynolds probably still gonna get arrested pretty soon. Do you know for well, what? It's got to do something with a statement he's give somebody. Uh, Wes, and don't I don't want to go into no, but he's he's gonna be all right for now. All right. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need to. Wes well, don't need to talk about that. It's all just right. you know. Uh, so you think, what do you think, Jeff gave a false statement, you think? Yeah, I think he done got caught in a damn lie about something. I mean, I don't know the whole... Uh, but well, you know, if you asked me if he was on probation, I went back and checked, because, you know, see, under his... Uh, back when we were doing... When he got hired, see, we didn't ask that question. And you have to be real careful when you ask that anyway these days. But um, I, I, I found out... Now, I can't remember how I did it. I got somebody to ask Jeff or somehow. Anyway, Jeff is on probation or, or winding down on probation, and I think he had something to do with, now don't miss, I may have this wrong, but I think it had something to do with drugs. Somewhere well, in, up a, in Gwinnett County, and I think uh, it is in Gwinnett. Well, that's the kind of thing you know we're talking about, about, I mean, because, again, if you look at the minister, I mean, if he gets fucking locked up, because, uh, If something changes on the other, I, I hope that's dead. Mm -hmm. uh, you talking about Wes or something? Yeah, but... Uh, well, Wes swears up and down the attorneys, everybody. And I, now you, this is, I, I'll tell you this, but they early on wanted... Now see, I, I found out so much crap since I talked to you, but Wes actually went over and talked to this deputy lady that handles the, what do you call children's crap? Yeah. So, so you, have, you have to appreciate it. I didn't know that. And I went into orbit when I heard that. But <clears throat> the attorneys already knew that. His attorney. You know, Tolly and everybody. They, they already knew that. And they said they wasn't worried about that. Now, 
they wanted West to do a lie detector thing. The FBI did. And um, West said, no, nah, I, I won't do that without my attorney telling him no. Now, he was smart enough to say that, apparently. Yeah. Well, here's what, no, they don't, I don't think they really know. West took a lie detector's test by the best. Okay, he's yeah. the FBI honcho. West passed the test. Okay, he, he, didn't do, he didn't had no sex with a girl. Uh, he, now, again, me and you talked about, it. he could have said some inappropriate remarks or this, that, and the other, but as far as having sex with her or any of that kind, it didn't happen. Okay, I'm convinced of that. I'm totally convinced of that. Now, here's the other part, and me and you talked about this a little bit, Chief, help Joe out a little bit here, Joe Chapman, because he, he's really, the, the, I don't know how, you guys are the policemen, not me, but here's my point. The FBI will lead your ass along and try to get the sheriffs. Let me give you a <coughs> side of case up in Gwinnett County. You may remember this one. Remember the wall case up there when the FBI and the damn Gwinnett police got together and they were going to, this guy was a cable contract. He was putting in cables. TV cable and all that stuff, and he he was in trouble, I think, financially. Now, I, I'm going back to, and I remember a little of this case, because I, I insured him, but he um, he was having troubles financially, and so I think what he did was signed a, he, he put together maybe some bogus financial statement or did something or whatever, but it wasn't a felony, okay, and that's what they determined. It was more of a misdemeanor, but let me hear, the crux of the whole story is, the FBI came to uh, the sheriff back then, I can't even think of who it was, but went to the sheriff back then and said, look, we'll back you all the way, you go in and arrest him, and y'all go in and do, you know, do a search warrant and hold it. They went to the magistrate. The magistrate wouldn't give him a warrant. He said, y'all crazy as hell, you're violating every right the man's got, you can't do that. Well, they, they, so they bypassed the magistrate, went to the solicitor, and the solicitor said, you know, it was all politics up there anyway. So I went to him and said, all right, we'll try the case. Well, the FBI wouldn't back them up. You know, the FBI <laughs> left their ass sitting still and said, no, in fact, gave a statement to the defense, if you'll know the true sad part about it. Long story short, Wall wins the case. He sues Gwinnett County in the 70s, got a $10 million judgment, okay? All I'm saying is with Joe, um, he, you know, he don't like Andy. He don't like Wes. I know I, he's told me that before. I mean, he called me one night about half crock, said, and I said, Joe, I don't care who you like, you don't, the whole bit, I ain't done nothing to you. I don't get into all this who shot John and all this other stuff. I tried to help out. I've told y'all that a thousand times what I tried to do. I don't, I don't give a damn if you believe it or not. It don't matter to me. But here's what I am saying to everybody, the whole world, is this. If you're coming after me, and I know I hadn't done anything, and I'm finding out I've got a lawyer for everybody, okay? And here's what I <laughs> promise you I'm going to do. And I've already talked to lawyers. We, we're meeting again this week because they better get their ass ready. If they're coming against me with full force, I'm coming back with full force. Okay, now I, that's only the right thing to do. I don't want to. I don't want no fuss with Joe. I don't want no fuss with the county. I ain't got no fuss with nobody. All I want is just to leave me to hell alone. Leave the ministry alone. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. I just want to do my job. Now, but if they keep this shit up, I'm going to do just like Walt did. I'm going to sue the county. I'm going to sue Joe. I'm going to sue everybody because when the lawyers get involved, that's when the shit starts hitting the fan and there ain't no stopping to it once they get started. You know that and I do too. I, but, but I promise you, Chief, I don't want that. That is not my heart. I mean, all I, I mean... Well, the train... The train ain't being drove across the street. It's being no, no, drove. no, I, and I know that. But see, but what I'm saying is the mm. FBI is pushing him to do some stuff that he really needs to talk to county attorney and get hit, make sure he gets all his ducks in a row and does everything he's supposed mm. to do because what's going to happen is this. They, they're going to find out, Chief, when they get into this shit, there ain't nothing there. Okay, what is actually there has been taken care of, and it's a money thing, and taxes were paid, everything's been handled, and, and we can show, we I mean, we can go from A to Z with this thing, and it's... We've taken all the appropriate steps to do what we're supposed to do and make it right, okay? And everything, the books are clean, USDA's clean, there ain't nothing dirty about this operation whatsoever. And, and but, you know, the FBI thinks that, there, you know, that one agent over there's got a heart on for us, and he wants to drive it the whole bit. So, that's fine, you know, if that's what they want to do the whole bit, but, we, you know, when he, he let him do what he needs to do, but at the end of the day, we're going to kick his ass, okay? And he's going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble 
but the way he's uh, gone about and done some of the things he's done, he you know, he's done some things inappropriately, and he his hand's going to be called on it. You know, cause, uh, you know, I mean, I, my attorneys aren't sitting by like people like Tyler Adderley and let some of shit mm. go by. You know that, and I do too. So Tyler's a good lawyer. Well, the only thing I'm saying is, is that my point. Well, I just wish the hell you know, the parties could come together and get shit over whatever. Well, that I think that whatever the fuck that than, means, I wish yeah. that would just happen because I. And if something was there, chief, now here's the thing: you're a policeman. If something was here, and this, as long as all this investigation's been going on and all this stuff, why won't they arrest me? I don't know. I don't, you, man, I don't if you know. had the shit on me, wouldn't you arrest me? Well, I don't know how they, you know, most time, what experience I've had with the FBI is where I go out and I get probable cause and I make an arrest, the damn FBI has pretty much got every damn little hook and granny and whatever done before they make an arrest. But yeah. I don't, you know, I just... Uh, that's what one of the terms, I think it was Tolly, I think it was Tolly made this statement. He said that the this dumbass over in Athens is pushing so hard to get Joe Chapman to make an arrest, and he said the thing is he's going to leave him high and dry, and he said, Joe, what, what the sheriff over here needs to tell the FBI is, you got the goods, you arrest them, I arrest them. Yeah. Uh, if you got the goods, you ought to be the one to do it, not us. So... Anyway, it, it really at this point it really doesn't matter to me because again, I mean, we we if they want to fight, we'll fight. Don't want to fight, don't want to fight. I, it don't matter to me. But I, all I'm saying is is that with Wes, I do know this coming against now that'd be like somebody coming against one of your girls. I'm still his daddy, okay, and I, I'm gonna stand yeah, up. Yeah, I mean that's like just that's just common sense. But if he's wrong, know. if he's wrong in something he's done. I, I'm, I think he has to pay the price and what he's done wrong, but at this point in the juncture, let, let me I, ask can't, you, I can't let find Let me it. ask you this. Do you know what Wes give her for Christmas? I don't have a clue. You need to ask him and see what the hell he tells Well, tell me, because I don't know. I don't well, it's supposed to be about a forty-something thousand dollar ring. Where would he get forty thousand damn dollars? <laughs> I don't know. Just you, Just ask you him. asked him offline. So you know, what do you get, baby girl, for Christmas? You know, and that's just. Uh, <laughs> no, I ain't doing any shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, you excuse my language, but you know. Uh, and Wes, hell, I love y'all. I mean, you know, I, I just, I, I just want to see this shit. I want it over with, like you do. Yeah, you know, and, uh, it's just, uh, you know. I, well, it. that's that. That when, you know, I pre and I appreciate very much you coming and tell me about it. it was it looked like they both was gonna get arrested. What I, oh, you know, uh, it was. <laughs> I mean, when I, I come to you and talk, I mean, you know, I appreciate you going back. Cause the thing, with, the thing, with, well, I don't want to get into all that shit, but uh, anyway, Bubba's ass probably still gonna he he got some problems, but he got some problems any damn way. Hey. But I mean, hell, that's something you got to think about too, though. Damn, if he's supposed to be a youth past and all that. Hey, let's get tell tell whoever when you get he ain't a youth past, right? All right. He is a contracted. He's not even on payroll. Okay. He's a subcontracted laborer that helps with the various functions in the church. I mean, set up, tear mm -hmm. down, that type of thing. But he is not a youth okay. pastor. He is not ordained. He's not a minister in the church. He's not, he's really he, he's a He's a helper, you know, like like I got helpers in the warehouse and helper in this, that, and the other, but he is not a pastor in the church. Um, well, you he you got, said you was meeting with them lawyers sometime in the near future. You think it's going to come a point where y'all just go sit down with whoever and try to goddamn... I think what's going to happen the next move... Excuse my life, I should no, no, be saying, right. I've been I, saying I, that I feel more. the same way, but here's what, you know, of course, I don't, I'm not the 
driver of the ship, if you will, you know. But here's my point. I tried to get them to do this. Well, what you were talking on. about? You paying them damn lawyers? Hell, they, I hope they're driving it right. Well, I, I mean, you can imagine the quality and who we got and the whole bit. We we got some pretty powerful stuff. But here's the thing: they're all in agreement that um, apparently. Uh, early, there was a lot of people, a lot, a number of people that had a heart on for us uh, that just flat didn't like us so bit, and they kept talking. There was enough stuff that got the crap cranked up in the whole bit. But when you've got James Lee and Tiani Lee and all this other crap out there doing what they've been doing, uh, Chief, they should, but they ought to be in jail right now for extortion. Okay, be perfectly honest with you. I don't think nothing will happen to them because that's the way it is. The sorry scuzzballs never, nothing ever happens to them. Well, you know, and I talked to Andy before, so you got something where he's, where he said something, or you got it recorded, you got, you know, one hey, time he said, yeah, I know it, but I mean, hell, that's what I was saying. We, you know, that's just confront him and say, hell, we're going, you know. Well, but Andy, see, his lawyers are telling him because of all everything going on on his side. They yeah. don't want to get in all that right now. They want to save that bullet for later down the road mm -hmm. and the whole bit. So that's what they're telling him. Wes is like, you know, Tolly just keeps telling Wes. Mike Jones on their side said, shit, they ain't got nothing. He said, if they had something, your ass would be in jail now. And he said, now they, they can't arrest you for probable cause and whatnot, but they better have a damn good case. He said, okay. when, it, when it happens, and they know they better have a good case because they know we're going to sue them. And he said, that's the reason... Look, some tough issues are here right now. They uh, called uh, uh, one of the people that's involved, called uh, his attorney, called shit, who at the middle district of, is down in Milledgeville. Like, where, no, Macon. Macon. That's where our stuff is. It's funny. It's Loganville is in Atlanta, and we in. Middle district. Yeah. Well, they called. For dope, I like it better down there, but I don't know. Well, that, actually, Tolly says these people in here are a lot better to deal with it than Atlanta folks. He yeah. said they're, they're just easier going. And, but anyway, they all met, and they called me. They let me know that one of the lawyers had already talked for the second time. Tolly had already talked to the assistant attorney general. Assistant attorney general said, I'm just being perfectly honest with you, Ted. I don't, they haven't come to us with anything. We know there's an investigation going on, but that's all we know. And... Um, so that was that. Then this other attorney called down there this past week because this agent uh, in Athens, one of the agents over there is really talking tough, you know, in the whole bit. So they called down there, and the assistant attorney general said again, said, look, all I can tell you is that the IRS and this agent, they're going calling on people. They're getting information, this, that, and the other. Don't take, you might think this IRS agent is a country bumpkin, but he's one sharp dude. Uh, but as far as uh, indictments or any of this other stuff, that, that is not imminent in, the re um, in, in our side of it. He can say whatever he wants to say, the agent can, but there are no imminent indictments yeah. or arrests on, on, the, on the federal government federal side. Level. And, he, and she said, well, I haven't seen anything yet. I don't even know if i got a case or not. So what this assistant, I will say this, though, the assistant attorney general down there has said, when, I, when they bring me the evidence or whatever they bring, what I'm going to do, I promise you right now that I will sit down with all the attorneys. All y'all will come and sit down and talk about this case, and we'll, we'll all come to a conclusion as to what we're going to do. I will give you that because I think I owe you that. Because it may very well be that the information this agent's gathering is not all the true information. Mm -hmm. And I was thankful to hear that side of it because, again, Chief, think of who all the April... Ryan Myers. Think of who all they're, they're, these people they're talking to are a bunch of damn idiots. And uh, there's no validity to anything they got to say. Got April in that house down there now, and finally she came clean with Luke. You know, I just feel I feel so sorry for Luke right now. I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I do, too, you know. I, he's got those it. three kids over there, knowing that that little baby's probably not even his. He's already, now he's talking about it now. Usually he wouldn't talk about it. April went to him and told him I had sex with Jim numerous times. All of a sudden, so how do you take that kind of shit, Chief, without them wanting to kill Jim and her, too? Well, that's tough, isn't it? You know, if you. <laughs> people do shit like in. Uh, with very little discretion. I don't think she's using much discretion when all that was going on. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand. 
<clears throat> let me ask you this on this rain thing with West. Do you let me? I'm, I am. I'm, I'm going to check it out. I've been told from somebody over there that they got a receipt. Yeah, got a receipt for it. Yeah. And of course, there ain't no law against him doing that. No, it just, but, but that's something you need. That's just something that you need well, to know he, about. That's kind of he, he better not have. Uh, well, I, first of all, I don't know where he would have got the money to do that, but we'll find out. So, but I'm, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of that as well. Well, uh, do do you do that with just him? Because hell, Mama oh, end up crazy. Yeah. Well, no, but here's the thing that he's gonna tell her. You know that. Well, do whatever you want to do with it, then. I, I'm just telling you that. I, I don't, but she can't prove. He can't prove that that you told me that. Yeah. I didn't. I ain't told anybody you told me the other day. Yeah. Well. It, but I appreciate you going to bat for West and not having them. Well, I I love y'all. I really do, PJ, and I just want this shit to be over. Hey, listen. And I want it to be over for everybody and everybody. Just do me a favor with John Kraft, if you can't, you because I know you love him and Andy both. John and Andy had a business deal on his store up here, okay, mm -hmm. this gun store. Go to John and just tell John to get with Andy and do what's right, okay? Okay. Andy pumped about $50,000 into that thing, or no, about $65,000 into that thing with gun. He's got Andy's personal pistols, yeah. all this other stuff, and what John needs to do now, John's a better man than than what he's showing right now. I know he's got a lot of pressure on him and a lot of things going on, but he he's selling guns and gives Andy a check. Andy doesn't have an inventory of what was sold. And, I, I mean, we yeah. need that in case the, the ATF comes in on us. Yeah. But the money thing, just tell, I told John early on, I said, John, go over and see Mike Berger. Y'all draw up some contract. I'll pay for the lawyer. You know, let y'all get the lawyers draw up a contract and make it happen. And Chief, I'll still do that. Let him go pick out whatever attorney he wants. And and I'll I'll give him a personal check for the legal fees to having it done correctly. Yeah. But I've just um, I just didn't have an agreement. Or, well, they they don't have agreement. any. They don't have you know all the it's all verbal. And the thing is, Andy with all his head problems and everything else, and John John's run scared to death. But the thing is, all I'm saying is, if if Andy in fact loaned him sixty five thousand dollars, then John owes him sixty five thousand dollars. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. If he didn't loan that to him, or if there's another agreement, all I'm asking him to do, well, that's fine, too, but go Let's to your get lawyer. It, get it on paper. Let's get it on paper and make sure everything's right, because at the very least, if John had to bankrupt, at the very least, Andy could at least take that piece of paper and write it off. Yeah. But with no record, IRS is not going to accept that. You, you see my point. All I'm trying, all I want him to do is do what's fair. I, I don't want to take advantage of him or hurt him or get all... Stoked up about this thing. Let's look. We, if we all going to live in this community, we need to learn how to live together. We yeah. got to fight each other forever and be ugly and whatnot. Yeah. But whatever we do, let's do it the right way. Don't you agree? Yeah. yeah. But anyway, just wanted you to know that, and I didn't. That's better information or better than what we had better than news about. and what you've been getting. Good deal. <laughs> so, how about Andy? Have you heard anything about? I ain't heard shit. I think they finally decided that was an uphill battle to try to arrest him on that pistol charge. Uh, I, I, and, and still, with Andy, the only thing, if they come talk to him, he just, whatever, like he looked at me and said, I didn't know he was no felon. I said, Andy, if you look at me and tell me that, I'll believe you. I said, I don't think nobody else going to. They'd like him damn people that come down there to my office and used to, whatever for the damn lawyer y'all whatever and I was telling him he, he tried he oh, was doing these scenarios and I just said well you know and he said well you know what about Andy not knowing that uh, a felon couldn't be I said with, with daddy's situation he knows the felon can't be around no damn guy I said that'd be like pissing up a rope and that's what I thought I said well, so I all on. Andy needs to do is just damn if I asked him Tell the truth. If you didn't know it was a damn felon, tell him you didn't know it was a felon. 
Tell them whatever the heck, you know, whatever well, the damn truth is. Well, here's my thing. and I, I, You've been in enough courtrooms and had to damn be a witness to shit. You know and I know when that gets into courtroom and a judge, especially if a federal judge has to hear that, chief, they ain't got, they don't, they don't, there's going to be enough bullshit on, on the plaintiff side and the defense side. It, it's, it's, it's the judges, uh, the, they ain't enough that what I'm saying is. That's a local fair. kind of thing. That's it, bullshit. It, it won't. Uh, but it's the kind of thing it, that, um. Uh, <laughs> it's the kind of thing that you know somebody can kind of thump you on your ear to say, you know, we still here. We doing this, we doing that, and we here, you know, and it's. I told uh, attorneys. Can you, ima- can you imagine, imagine, imagine what it'd be like to be having all this going on and not have resources you got? Oh, God. You know, like old Larry David told Shit. me that day, he said. He said, the federal government get after you, he said, you can't win. I said, what do you mean? He said, he said, hell, they don't never run out of money. <laughs> well, I'll put it this. So far, I hadn't, and uh, yeah. I, I'm going to tell you, I, I've got, you can imagine, what I've told you what I'm spending, but you know what? The reason I'm spending, because I believe in us, and I believe yeah. that we've done the right thing, and I'm, I'm going to battle like hell to prove it. And uh, But there again, you know how I am, Chief. If we're wrong, we're wrong. I'll pay the consequences on what I've done wrong. I won't lie about it either. And and that's why I say I tell the truth. And I said I have done nothing illegal to my knowledge whatsoever. My wife hadn't done anything any anything illegal. Only thing I do know what West and Andy both have said. I don't think there's any criminal thing to it. I don't think there's a misdemeanor to it. And uh, now, have they done some things that that I wouldn't do? Hell no, I wouldn't do some of the things they've done. Okay, but there again, I, I'm not them and they're not me. But I do know after dealing with the lawyers and stuff. Things have been corrected. When it was brought to my attention, I made action. I did action to correct it. That's like when Andy went through all that. You saw what I did. Uh, I love him with all my heart, but I had I had to do what I had to do because I'm his daddy and I and I'm the head of this ministry, and yeah, I got to answer. You know, God. I couldn't. I couldn't. Well, remember you came to me and said, "Don't be too damn tough on him." Yeah. So. Chief, you've been around me a long time. I ain't never lied to you. And you yeah. know how I am about people down. If they don't come to you asking you for a favor and whatnot, that ain't the way it works. Break the law, pay for, pay your consequences up, and get it over. And let's get on down the road. But uh, no, I'm not. I'm. You're never going. They ain't one check. They ain't one person out there can prove that I've ever said, "Here's some money, go fix it." Yeah. Okay. It ain't there. And as much as they'd like to prove something like that, they can't prove it because it ain't there. They can say these assholes out there can say it all they want to say, but they can't prove it because it never happened. And I, I'm never gonna get into shit like that. So that that's where I'm at. Well, buddy, I appreciate that, and I right. I, I thank you for sticking up for wet night. That, that'll make his mother feel a lot better. I am gonna tell her that. Okay. And um. Well, I, well, I, love, I, you. I love you. All Y'all right, be well. careful. Yeah, do, will you do that with me for uh with John? I will talk I will. to him and let's tell him and him and I'm going to I'm going to the uh, sheriff thing tomorrow and Monday in Atlanta and I get back I'll talk okay, to him. Okay, buddy. I'll All see right. you. Love you. All right, love you. Bye, bye. Yeah, about two fifteen.